Hey guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at the do-it-yourself reticulation and how you can connect the rain bird to your solenoid, the rain bird controller system to the solenoid or the valve. So let's first, we're going to open up the controller. Okay, I'm going to open up this controller and then we're going to take a look on the inside of this controller. Now if you look on the controller, there is a common line. This is the common line that will run through to all of your solenoid. Then you got the master and then you got the station number. So station 1, station 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now depending on the model, your model, you might have 4, 6, 8 or 12. So it's depending on each of the controller. But uh, the basics is you have a common line, you got a master line and then all these different stations now okay if you look in here you see we got a small diagram you got the mine water supplied go to the master valve and then you got station one valve station two station three now it doesn't have to be in a straight line like this sometimes it can be split up into different route but it's always coming from the master valve now the purpose of the master valve is to save you water so let's say if Station 1 or Station 2 is broken and the water is leaking. If you don't have the master valve, then it means all of this can be leaking water uh, during the off time period. That could cause you uh, wasting water or if it's during winter, you're not supposed to have your reticulation turns on, but it actually turns on anyway because it's faulty, then it can cause you to waste a lot of water. So the purpose of the master valve is when your timer is off, it will switch off, it will turn off the main water supply going through here. That means even if station 1 or station 2 is broken and it's leaking, uh, leaking water, because the master valve is already switched off, then it doesn't really matter. So if the master valve is turned on, then all of this station can be also be uh, turned on or turned off accordingly. And when your water run has finished for the day, then the master valve will be switched off. Now again, if the master valve is faulty and it won't switch on, then all of this will not work. So if the master valve is faulty, you need to replace that. So that is the, the, the whole idea of why you need to use the master valve, uh, so that you can save water if one of the stations is broken and it's leaking. Okay, next we've got the solenoid, which is the water, water valve right here. So you've got in, uh, inlet and outlet. And here is the electrical uh, component that controls whether to turn this solenoid on or off. So each of this solenoid is for one station. Uh, the reason we have different stations is because sometimes the water pressure is not enough for the whole garden. So that's why it's been breaking up into different zone or station so that once when one part of your lawn or your garden is finished it will move on to the next station okay so this is just basically an adapter you can put on to your inlet and outlet now if you look at the top there is a cable there are two wires so one of the wire needs to go to the common right here to the common line you can see where it says C that is the common line okay so you can see here if we look on this diagram we've got the common line going down and it goes and it connects to one of the wire on the solenoid so each of the solenoid is connecting to the common line like so and you got station number three and like so and then here you got the master valve this line here master would connect to your stations master so here we've got master that would connect to the master then we've got station one and then you got station one one wire right here and this wire would go to station number one and then you got station two this wire go to station number two now each of this cable should have a different color because um, if you have different colors when it is when something goes wrong you can track down the wires to the to a particular station then you know which one is uh, is faulty so you can repair uh, accordingly so here so for example if this is a master valve we can connect it to the master right here 
and then you got a common line then this are the cables connect to the common line and that's all you have to do to connect your solenoid to your station and then you just simply continue with your diagram so you've got more stations then you just keep going so this pipe here can go to another station so you can have like a splitter uh, from this pipe and then it goes to a different station number four and then you get station number five and basically you just continue you have one wire go to the common line and then another wire goes to station four five or six and that is the basic of connecting your stations uh, to the solenoid and once the station is turned on then this basically will get a uh, switch on it will there's some kind of like a switch inside so when this when the timer is on and then it sends an electrical pulse to this device here and then it will switch on and then the water can go through and when the timer is finished let's say if you set the station to run for 15 minutes or 20 minutes when the time is up it will send another electrical signal to this valve and then it will switch off and then it, and then the station will turn off now on this particular solenoid there is a on or off switch so you can turn it to control the flow of water there's also another button here you can use so these tools allow you to switch it on and control the flow of water going through to your uh, to your area to your area in your garden or to your zone and that's it so that's how you can uh, connect your uh, water stations to your solenoid now this is the rainbird brand but basically it all works very similar they're all the same uh, all the, the the basics is the same you've got the common line you got the master and then you got all this uh, different stationaries then you also have the battery for backup uh, to control your device and then you also need to have this one uh, plug into a, a power a unit uh, for it to work and once it is connected then you can uh, also test it using the menu function to test your uh, solenoid you should hear it uh, switch on uh, once this is uh, activated okay guys so that is in brief on how you can uh, connect your solenoid to your station and uh, after that you can run the pipes and do whatever you need to do thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more videos